guess what? I got a new sign. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? <laughs> yeah, but no. Today I've got another fake versus real video for you. So let's, did I just say video? Video. Oh my gosh. All right, so as you see, I have one very large package here and four smaller packages of the Marvel Tsum Tsums, which I had to go out and shop for in order to have the most amount of reels, the real characters to compare to the characters that come in the fake package. Because the fake package is so random, you couldn't find that as one real package. Does that make sense? Hopefully. But there you have it. These are all the real Tsum Tsums and we're gonna open them up. <laughs> but before we open them, we actually have to take a quick peek at the fake package. So it's a box instead of a big, you know, shaped plasticky thing. And uh, you actually have the little window here that shows you eight of the characters right up front, which includes some Star Wars characters for some reason. And two hidden ones are up here in the text. And you can't see them until we open it, but that gives us a total of 10 fake Tsum Tsums. So we've got some Star Wars here and some Marvel characters. Yay! And if we check out the back, they're showing you all the characters, but they're just posed in different positions. And the same with the sides of the box. There's a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo in the bottom, but you guys don't really care about that anyways. Just don't eat them, okay? They're a choking hazard. Now, before you go ahead and complain at me, I did try to find a Stormtrooper and a Kylo Ren character in the real form so that I could compare it for you, but I actually wasn't able to, so meh. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. You can't see me because I turn off the camera but I've been trying to open this package for about three minutes. They're very difficult to open. So let me just, I almost did it! Oh, ow! So if you're not familiar with the Disney Tsum Tsums, they are roly-poly versions, woo! Plastic, rubber, non-squishy versions of Disney characters, which includes Marvel and Star Wars. They come in big, medium, and small. So now we'll open up the fakes and start comparing. All right, so let us start with Ant-Man. This is our real and this is our fake, if it wasn't already obvious. So the fake is rock hard plastic and the real is rubbery, so that's kind of cool. So let's check out their faces first. The real has really great eyes and fake robotic insect type details like mandibles and breathing apparatuses and really cool paint job. The fake has cool silvery shiny metallic paint, which is neat, but other than that, the rest is kind of awful. <laughs> so it doesn't look the same, but it doesn't look too, too different, I suppose. He kind of just looks like a metal alien. If we go down here, you can see that's his belt and it goes all the... No, it does not. <laughs> Never mind. It doesn't even go all the way around. Like, it's not even buckled here. How, how is this even working? And it says, Marvel Tsum Tsums made in China. And the fake one just says, Disney. And it's got red feet. It looks like there's little ladybugs on his feet. <laughs> da -da -da -ba -ba -da, blurry Ant-Man. <laughs> Next up we have Iron Man versus Iron Man. For the real, we've got a really cool chiseled chin, cheeks, a brooding brow, and some definition up here to make it look more like Iron Man's mask, which is really neat. But on the fake, they have decided, nah, I don't wanna. This sort of looks like a Millennium Falcon from above. They've missed out on these cool ear panel type things, these little dots, and all this as well. They've kind of skipped all that. However, they did do that yellow piece right here. On the back, we've got a big old pile of nothing. And on the side, it's missing all the smaller details, but they left the yellow. It's just, you know, covered by red paint. And speaking of red paint, they didn't use very much of it because I could see the black underneath. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I'm loving this Iron Man so much that I'm sort of hoping they'll come out with a chubby little version of Tony Stark. <laughs> Wait, is that a thing? Hold on, let me, let me just Google that. I'll be right back. Guys, guys, it's real. Ah! I need to find this Tony Stark. Ah! <laughs> Next up, we've got your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Oh, and there's a little thing on him. There we go. Anywho, on our real one, we've got indented spider web lines and a painted eye area. Free little tip to you uh, toy copiers. If you're gonna make toys, at least learn to paint inside the lines. Look at these eyes. This is, look at these eyes. <laughs> they literally have indents. Just follow the lines. I learned how to do that in kindergarten. For the back, we've got blue and the spider, but for the fake, we've only got a square and a spider. Even though it's not horrible, Here's what I'm thinking is going on with this paint job. It looks like someone's grandma was all like, oh, don't worry, Shani, I'll make you a spidey costume. And then she just slapped a patch on. There, 
Where's your spidey symbol? <laughs> it just looks like an old timey, more like ugly pajama Spider-Man costume. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> On the sides we've got nothing because they don't go down all the way with their blue. Underneath, on the real Spider-Man, it's got the black spider, and he's got some actual indents on his feet as well, which are all red. Over here it just says, copyright Disney. He's got two blue feet and two red feet, and that's about it. Next up, we have the ever-powerful Thor, and as you can see, they look identical. This is obviously our real, and this is more of a comic book version of Thor. So he's got long hair. They even made it, like, got waves and stuff in it. That's kind of cool. Blue eyes, his little nose is sticking off, and he's got defined eyebrows. He's got his helmet with wings on the side and a flowing red cape. Pretty cool. How would he even swing his hammer? <laughs> I just want to see that actually like fit inside his grubby little hands there. And wondering, are these supposed to be his abs? Like if you know what these little blue things are, can you just let me know? Because right now I don't know. Look at him. He's raising his eyebrow. He's like, don't question me. But that's not his voice. He doesn't have any of that. He's got this weird little cap on, short hair, painted really bad eyebrows that go right over his nose, and a dirty face, and little black eyes. He actually kind of looks more like Kristoff from Frozen. <laughs> actually, you know what? Fake Thor sort of looks like this kid from a 90s movie. Like, it's really weird how much he looks like him. And let's check out his body. His two little orange feet for some reason. His hammer's not that bad. But if we look at his cape, which is hung off of one side of his shoulders, like he's a bullfighter or some old Dracula character for some reason, ah, I can't help but notice that it kind of just looks like someone got the inspiration from their nail polish. Doesn't that look like a thumbprint? It's like, hi, here's my thumb, and I think you'd make a great cape. Duh. Or not. Which Thor do you like better? Don't know about you, but I think I'd rather have this one save me if I was in danger. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Next up, we have a real versus fake Captain America. So we'll begin with the face. The real Captain America has a half mask, so he's got his skin underneath showing there, and he's got some ears. The fake has a half mask with some weird ears there. And why is his face so gray? Did they run out of beige paint? I'm not, I just, I don't know. That's just weird. The longer I stare at it, the more confused I get. And I'm noticing that his A is uh, a little one-sided. I don't know, there's something about him that just bugs me. He looks kind of like a whale with a yellow mustache. <laughs> The reels got indented black eyeballs and some cool brows and an A. And the fake has eye dots and an A, but no cool brows or indented eyes. Uh, they're also a different color blue. On the sides, the reels got this cool stuff going on and the fake does not. The reels got the red and white and the fake has it too. Not very well, but it's got it. The reel also has a black belt, which the fake does not. The reels belt continues all the way down and he's got red feet and a star and the fake has none of that. The reel says marble. That one says Jack's China. I didn't know Jack's films made toys. And the fake one just says copyright Disney. And he's got a weird marking on his bum like he sat in nail polish. The last thing to look at will be the shields. The real Captain America has his strap to his back securely and it's got really good paint. And the fake one decided hey why not stick it on the top of your head because yes that's why. Cause I wanna. The last comparison that I've got here is going to be Black Widow. How cute! <laughs> so she's got some blushing on her cheeks, which I didn't notice until I zoomed in. Indented eyes with eyelashes, a little protruding nose, some nice brows, and some perfectly molded hair. Mm, she's so tiny. She's like a little ant. That's cool. You know what? Speaking of ants, hold on. Notice how her belt goes completely around the middle and has a buckle. Let's go scold Ant-Man. Come on, Ant-Man. Get your stuff together. Even this super teeny black widow's got her belt on. <laughs> right. <laughs> and our good old fakie here could not even be bothered to finish painting her hair. <laughs> so she's got a very bad paint job, very awful face, and she does have a protruding nose, so we'll give her that. She also has eyebrows, so that's good. So she's got this mark on her back, like the black widow, and a silver belt, which is kind of metallic and cool. The reel has the same marking and the belt, so good. She's got the blue coming out of the back of the belt, and so does she, and she's got the zigzag blue, and this one says Marvel, Tsum Tsum's, something China. Maybe this one says Jax too. And this one just says copyright Disney. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
Since he managed to find his way into the video, we're just gonna go ahead and check out the last fakes. So Kylo Ren doesn't actually need that much work because he's all black, so he doesn't actually look that bad. His face mask looks kinda just like goggles that just keep going in, 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 in. Like when you look at a mirror and you see yourself like 50 bazillion times, his hood is kind of neat actually. I like that they made all the ripples so that it looks like it's curving over his head, but it sort of just looks like hair too at the same time. <laughs> he's got a red sword on his side and it is see-through because it does not actually have that much paint and on the bottom he's got two silver bottom feet because clearly he had silver boots in the movie. Not at all. No. Bad Kylo. Next up, we have fake Wolverine, who is very yellow and got a little bit of black. Of course, they did not paint in the lines and it is fading and he's got a tooth over here where there is no tooth, so that's interesting. But he sort of just looks like he is going to attack us. Now, I cannot tell if you can see this, but he's like super, super derp to one side. <laughs> but no, his uh, head looks like it was glued on wrong, like he's turning his head kind of like a puppy. What do you mean? What do you mean I'm not a termite? <laughs> He's got two black feet on the bottom, and that's about the end of Wolverine. Super vicious looking. <laughs> Next up is the Hulk. He's very, very green, but upon closer inspection, he sort of looks to me more like a mix of the rock and the green giant. Sort of like he's just ate a lot of peas and changed color. Um, and his hair looks unpainted, obviously. It's not the greatest paint on him, but his hair looks like a tuft of lettuce. Sort of like he was just made from vegetables. And obviously, you can see all these little blacks spots and I like his little triangle nose. <laughs> so there's some more of that black paint but we'll pretend it's a birthmark so that it's okay. He also has brown pants and that is about it. Next up is a stormtrooper. So he looks two different color of white here. He's got a really creamy color up here and a bright white down here and it's flat paint so everything is showing up really well on it. So you can see a lot of black underneath and black feet and it looks like there's a belt going around his neck and I know that's to separate his helmet from his body but it just kind of looks really funny. From the side he just looks like a really angry guy garden grub. If you've ever seen one of those white garden grubs, they're really gross looking. He just looks like a really either angry or like, actually he looks like a, a rockin' marshmallow. <laughs> all right, here we are with all of our fake terrible friends and our cool Tsum Tsum friends. And I don't know why I'm talking like this, but oh well. Let me know in the comment section below which one is your fake fail winner of the day. I think mine would be Thor because he looks awful. He looks nothing like the real Thor. He's missing everything. His paint is horrible. After you've done that, make sure you remember to share this video with a friend, especially if you know that they love my videos or Disney Tsum Tsums. So. There's that too. If you didn't know, we have a whole fake versus real playlist, so if you've missed any of those episodes, you can go back and watch them, as well as all the other videos we've done, because they are all great. <laughs> but if you specifically enjoyed this video today, make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe, so that you can stay up to date with all of our future fun toy videos, as well as fake versus reels, because they are pretty awesome. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.